What's up everyone, Jack Dejan here. Today I'll be bringing you a project called Red Light Node District or Red Light Finance. It is a node project on the Avalanche network. This is their website. Let's take a quick look. So in short, it's a node project. It's a NAS, which is a node as a service. We do have, you know, a semi-doxed team. Okay, we see their pictures, but you know, we don't know if they are this is who they are, you know, we, we, we don't exactly know their full name and everything. But at least they did t take the effort to actually show their faces, if that's them. So yeah, let's take a look at their dApp. You have the play Playmates is their token, where you use to buy nodes. Uh, nodes are called mansions. A current market cap, 47 million. For 24 hour trading volume, 1.3 million. 35,624 nodes. I do have to say, after doing some research, the current model is a Ponzi model, okay? It is a Ponzi model. There's no way for them to generate any returns. They have NFTs, okay? That's going for a crazy amount of money. As you can see, this is their NFT sales. Each NFT will provide like an extra 25% income to your nodes. So it's very lucrative to actually have NFT, which I think maximum of 200 i think only floor floor prices just shot up so i mean so they could earn fees uh from the transaction of nfts but i don't think there's any mention of that of how that would be used in the node product so yeah it takes about 20 days right now get your investment back per node which is just crazy like the amount of the it just pays out crazy so one playmates is about 23 dollars um, it costs about 20 playmates to make one node, which is a mansion. They do have a whale tax. So if you make loads of mansions, your rewards will be taxed at a higher rate, which, you know, welcome to the model. They are cutting down in that rewards we burned will be redistributed to a play to people who is not claiming, which do adds, which do adds to the sustainability. So yeah, distribution is subject to change. So when you put in 20 playmates, distribution will be 20% will be added to the playmates AVAX pool and 80% will be put back into reward. That's higher than even strong, right? Strong is like 60%. So that's why they're able to pay out so high because 80% of what you put in are being redistributed to other people, which makes this at this point in time a Ponzi. But it only came out like a week ago. So give it a chance. Uh, see how this will go. This has blown up in terms of socials. So as we can see, this is the Discord. 14,000 people uh, really kind of blew up on day one. Very hyped project. Everyone is hyping up. I think it's due to their NFT, but do be careful of the hypes because uh, most hype project doesn't end too well these days. I am not fudding. I am just explaining the general state of things in this space Let's take a quick look at their token. This is Playmates against AVAX. It's more like the USD value of the token. Right now, we are growing very healthily from end of January or so. It's been, yeah, it's just been just a week. But do keep in mind, this is the token that you farm. This is what people sell to actually make money. Okay, if you want to recoup your investment, then that, this, this is the token that you will sell. You will get rewarded in this token one per day. So what time is a good time to get into the project? I think around this level, okay? I think around 15 is probably a more realistic, 15 to 12, okay? This is this is about a more realistic level of entry, okay? Obviously, it could go down to like, I don't know, 19 and then rebound. These are key support lines that should, you know, if price goes in, goes around that area, then maybe you could enter a little, Again, not financial advice, but you know, do do think about that because you need to. Right now is pretty high in terms of price action, so I will wait for this to drop a little bit before you, before trying to enter. So they have been KYC by CoinScope. In terms of CoinScope, I've not heard of CoinScope before, so you know, I would rather they have their. KYC done at RugDoc or something, but I can understand because Rug, because RugDoc is pretty expensive, and CoinScope might be cheaper. So, but then again, it doesn't offer the same kind of assurances those more popular ones because you know usually when you have your project looked over by things like Certic, and 
rug dog, then it brings a certain value, a certain level of confidence. All right, let's take a quick look at their tokenomics. I'm showing you it from their Discord because I just find it easier this way. Their, their white paper just seems really confusing. So buy tax, 0%, sell tax, 5% to the 10%. 5% to the treasury, 3% to the reward pool, 1% to liquidity, 1% to marketing wallet. Transfer tax, 40% transfer tax, so playmates from one to another. 20% to the treasury, 12% to the reward pool, 4% to liquidity, 4% to marketing wallet. So marketing wallet is basically the same as the project, right? So treasury is also the same. Okay, so they're looking at, so we're looking at like 5%, 5%, so it's like 30% a sell and transfer will go to the project. Okay, so, you know, I'm just saying treasury and marketing are both controlled by the project. So it's the same thing. Um, again, claim tax, you got claim tax as well. So 12% to the reward for 3% to marketing. Well, they, they have a lot going to the marketing wallet. We know what the marketing wallet is. So I'll show you that in a minute. Right, this is the whale tax. Okay, so 20, if you have less than 20 mansions, then there's a 2.5 tax added to the sales tax. Okay, so they're adding a 2.5% on top of that 10%. If you have 20 to 49 mentions, it's 5%. 50 to 99 mentions, 15. 100 plus mentions is 25%. Okay. Which 50% goes to treasury, 10% goes to marketing wallet. The rest is reward and liquidity. They're, you know, they're sending a lot to the treasury and a lot to the marketing wallet, but they're sending playmates. They're not sending any stable coins. So I wonder how they will use that because if they need to use it, they'll need to sell it themselves. So mansion cost, it costs 20 playmates right now at these prices is about 430 to $460. You, you get paid one playmates per day. So you basically earn about uh, 5% a day, right? Which is bonkers, okay? The cost of mansion will increase depending on the amount of mansion you own. There's a max creation of 20 per transaction and cost of each mansion will be the same for the entire for the entire amount in that transaction based on the tier that you are at the time of transaction. So the more mansion you buy, the more expensive they will be. Obviously there's a you know cap of 200. So I would see some whales coming in and just you know buy like 200 straight off the bat because playmates are cheap right now. You know if if this project kick flies off then I can easily see this price go up to you know hundreds. So yeah so district cost a district is more rewarding node that gives 1.5 increase to entire wallet node production. A one minus one percent decrease in claim tax. Keep in mind a district only generates one play playmate per day, so you will not want to upgrade until you have a higher amount of mansions to make the benefit worthwhile. Each district will cost 20 mansions plus 20 playmates. Okay, so you basically increase your wallet node production by 1.5. Is that per day? This is the Playmates token contract. It's verified, so thumbs up to Dev for doing that. To me, it's a vote of confidence because it's good for the transparency that we can see the the owner of the contract, which is a wallet. I'm not sure if this is multi-sig. You have the marketing wallet, which we can see a lot of money has gone into. It is also the owner wallet for the token. So it's just generally good to have the, you know, a verified contract because you can see where all the addresses are okay we can kind of look into how the tokenomics flow in the system and if they're following the system so for me it's just another way to to do more due diligence into the project they also have a medium i suggest you check that out at medium.com at red light district so they will have a bunch of write-ups that you can read through depending on this is for your research uh, and this is their white paper which has more info but i went straight to tokenomics so i take everything with a grain of salt do some research on this what i'm what i can see it's okay all right it's okay-ish all right is this gonna last i don't know okay because it's very hyped but at the end of the day at this point in time it's just a ponzi okay there's there's no evidence that they are making anything from anywhere all right so keep that in mind yeah, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.